this side of the sleeper and kind of around the front of the truck a couple times. But now I'm gonna get the top of it there. Both mud flat brackets put on. That needs to be straightened back out a little bit. This mud flap here is tore up and needs replaced on the inside. It's cracked here and busted. And then the exhaust put on his elbow. That's got to be fixed. It needs two airbags there. And find out why I have no load leveling valve because it's not supplying air to here. I undid it, I'm just sitting here trying to figure it out, but I have no air into this valve. So... Look how dirty she is, boys. Let me get rid of that glare. in here was there's a mouse house in the bottom of those, these air conditioning vents and it doesn't even look like that was a vent like hmm. okay so maybe there's supposed to be a block off here it looks like uh you guys put some duct tape over it there was also duct tape over those i'm gonna have to steam clean that and there's some duct tape over that you guys liked your duct tape, didn't you? What was it with that? And I'm gonna guess that. Who did that? Huh? Anybody from CF still? I kind of like it. I'm not gonna lie. But we definitely need to get the steamer in here. And if I steam it, I'll be able to steam that stuff off and steam up the all the duct tape residue there, here. Whoever broke this. In case you guys were wondering about the old specs, you can pause it. Well, here's a quick little score. I'm wiping all these wires down and just trying to get like all of the, I'm obviously vacuuming it out and wiping this area done, you know, out and getting everything cleaned up under here. And then I was going to put the cover back on after cleaning the inside and the outside of the cover and work on my way around of getting all the vents cleaned and everything like that and then i'm gonna go get the steamer steam it and just really get the rest of the interior and stuff cleaned up um, i did a quick clean out last year and 
Yeah, they didn't sit for another six months. So we're gonna do another clean out again. <laughs> scrub and scrub and then you'll just find more so right now what I'm working on here is I've got my steamer out and you guys really like they see if guys really like their duct tape so I've got the residue off through here got some up in here and we're gonna purge it and then Take that door. Nope. There we go. I can't touch it. It's not very good. I'll switch hands here. Right now, I'm still just shooting steam at it, trying to heat it up. You guys probably duct taped that in 95 when she was new. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got a lot of steam. I get it. It's probably freezing cold up there in Oregon when they did that. But guess what? I'm not gonna be in Oregon. Okay, well, I steamed that off the best I could. There's still some residue up in there a little bit, but right now I'm just kind of steaming everything, trying to get all of the tape, because there's a lot of tape residue on this panel. Got all that steamed off, and now I'm gonna start working on this panel here, getting all this steam off. I mean, steam off. Getting all that tape residue off. Get this tape residue off and then steam down in there. 
And then I think we'll just work our way around to the tape stuff. And we'll just uh, see what that looks like here in a little bit. Just remember what it looked like, okay? All right, so steamed all that stuff off. Pretty much anywhere I could find tape residue, I steamed it off. As I was cleaning or steaming, right now I'm just gonna go through the steam, clean everything two or three more times. But I'm just sitting here in the bump, well, kind of in the bump. Because it's starting to rain and I need to get I mean, that's what I need to do. I need to roll it up, but it uses there, so. That's it. That's all I need to do. Out we go. Better grab a radio.